So here's an SAT math section tip. Whenever you see a stacked equation set like this, what I'm putting this box around, what you're going to want to do if you're asked to solve for the solution x, y of the system of equations above is take a look at your answer choices. Find if x or y has all different numbers. In this case, x has all different numbers, but y has two negative sixes. So I'm going to solve for x. Now, to solve for x when I have a stacked problem like this, I'm going to want to get rid of y. In this case, I have 4y up top, so I want to get 4y down below, and then I want to subtract them. Okay, so I multiply this bottom equation, I multiply that whole equation by 2, thus giving me 2 times 2y, which is 4y, then I'm going to subtract it. So I have 4y minus 4y, that gets rid of my y's, so I'm going to have 0y then. I'll have 3x then, minus 2 times negative x. 2 times negative x gives me negative 2x. If I'm subtracting negative 2x, that's adding 2x. So I have 3x plus 2x, which will give me 5x. And then I'll have that then set equal to negative 23, so negative 23 minus... 2 times negative 19, 2 times negative 19 gives me negative 38, subtracting a negative 38 gives me plus 38, and that's going to leave me with 15. Therefore, I'm going to have 5x equals 15. At that point, I'm going to divide each side by 5 to solve for x, and I will see that x is going to equal 3. There's only one answer choice where x is 3, so I know b will be my answer. So anytime that I see a stacked equation set uh, like this up top, and I'm asked to solve for the solution x, y, that's what I'm going to look to do. I'm going to look to add or subtract uh, my bottom equation for my top equation in order to get rid of one of my variables and solve for the other variable. And then by solving for that other variable, if I'm smart about it, oftentimes I'll be able to get my correct answer choice without even solving for the other one. So that's the tip for the SAT math section I have for you today. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.